Hello folks, it is I, Nate Pop, and we're back with more Saints Row the... No, not the fourth, it's just known as Saints Row 4. And we're gonna return with the Spider-Gwen outfit. Okay, we're gonna pick up where we last left off. It's pretty much what we did with the Nolan North video as Spider-Man. We're gonna be pretty much doing the same thing, but as Spider-Gwen, which I'm really excited about. I'm really, really excited to play through this game with this outfit mode. I had a lot of fun with it when I played as Deadpool. I have a lot of fun with it as I play as Gwen Stacy. Okay, so, before I select, I definitely want that. I want to choose. I'm definitely not going to collect all of the clusters. I've done that before, but I, I don't have that time anymore. <laughs> I'm actually even worried about playing this right now because um, I have like stuff to do. I have to work my stupid thing to get into like a program. I've been, I, I, it's been like a year since I've been working on that. I mean, I've always talked about it in many videos, and it's just like I, it's, I think it's time that I, I just get in. So I don't have to worry about that. Oh, shit. If Zinyak wants a fight, we're going to bring it to him. <clears throat> Taking down the simulation will wreak havoc on all the Zin systems and help us locate our friends. There's plenty you can do to overload, disrupt, and generally break the whole damn thing, so let's start small. I know hacking stores seems trivial, but it's a good place for us to begin. Alright, get moving. I think it'd be best to start at... Planet Zin. If I'm taking a store back from Zinyak, I want the one with his ugly face on it. Okay, good point. Planet Zin. And I thought Freckle Bitches was tacky. So you should be able to hack it from right outside the door. Good luck. You can actually destroy these. Okay, just shoot it. I fucking hate these things. Everybody be cool and just destroy the statue. Kenzie's job is easy. Uh oh. Is there a cop convention I don't know about? Oops, you must have tripped the security alarm. And this'll happen every time? I think I can cut off the outside security program from the rest of the stores, so no, it shouldn't happen again. Thank you. Now it's time to beat feet. Uh, um, no wait, don't. I want to see how their reaction protocols work. Well, sure, because it's me getting shot at. Wine, wine, wine. <laughs> that has to be embarrassing. This is my favorite gun of all time. It it makes a lot of the missions a whole lot easier. Hey, did you see that, Kenzie? What? The cops changed into Zim. Looks like they're stepping up security even more. Be careful. And I'll just abduct these guys. Shit, now Zinner dropping from the sky? That's fucking cheating! Those are access portals. You should be able to destroy them to stop more soldiers from showing up. Great. Okay, hold on. Look at that gold floating robot thing. I think it's controlling the security program here. Yeah, so? So if you catch the golden orb and shut it down, then the Zin should no longer see you as an immediate threat. Catch the golden orb? You know how stupid that sounds? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Oh shit. Get over here. No. Come here, you little shit. Kenzie, I did it! Great. At least you have a way to get the Zin off your back now, so keep that in mind. Remember, this is only the beginning. <coughs> the everything we're going to throw at Zinyak, he won't know what hit him. Sweet! Power play, eh, I'll do that later. There's a lot of ways to do it. Or maybe I could do it on the way, I just want to get the main ones. Greetings. If you want to find and rescue your friends, you will meet me at my rift. Goodbye. Great. 
Listening to the creepy blocked caller could never go bad. No kidding. Does this guy really think we would just trust some random ghost in the machine? We don't have much of a choice. Eh, fuck it. What's the worst that could happen? I die. You die. We all die. Any combination that involves death at all, really. You will need to leap from platform to platform. By changing the red platforms to blue, the power connection to this simulation will remain open. The closer you land to the center, the stronger the connection. <laughs> If you don't start telling me how you can help me save my friends, I'm walking. I know how to navigate the Zin systems and travel between them. If you can find the right simulation, I can open a gateway between that one and yours. Why would you want to help me? You don't even know me. Because I have no love for the Zin, as I was once their prisoner too. I have been stuck inside the Zin simulations, creating rifts, which cause chaos for Zinga. Though the Zin inevitably shut them down. Looks like you already got this covered. What do you need me for? Your help ensures I am able to keep them open permanently. A benefit to us both. This doesn't seem dangerous. Why don't you do it yourself? My body has long since died. I implanted my consciousness into the main simulation computer many years ago. How can you open a gateway if you're dead? I cannot. That is... Not unless you find me a physical metrics into first. What, I just take your word for it? Unlike humans, I keep my word and pay my debts. Besides, you may be me. Didn't even need to finish. Alright, I jumped on the flashy lights. Now can you help me kill Zinyak already? My access code is 1331. One. Use it when you find me a suitable form. Good. Oh, that's so cool. I would really like them to make a spider gwen. Spider-Gwen solo game. I'm not sure if that's possible for Insomniac games though, I mean... I'm not, I don't think they would want to touch the whole interdimensional leaping thing, you know, compared... Uh, based on like the story that they have, it's a it's grounded in terms of like they want to focus on one universe. When it comes to like going into different dimensions, that's uh, a whole lot of variety and a whole lot of backstory that you gotta explain, and I don't think... I don't, they're, they could be definitely up to it, but that's going to take a lot of work. But a good what if would be good. You know, I honestly wouldn't mind if they made a Batgirl video game instead of a, a Batman game for the next Batman game. I don't know if they're going to make a Batman game, to be honest. They keep saying that, and everybody just says, Well, you know, we heard a rumor that there's going to be another Batman game. It's like, okay, you know, at this point... As if I see a trailer straight from the studio, if I actually see like development photos and stuff like that, like gameplay or whatever, then I'll believe it. Up to this point, it's just like, it's a lot of bullshit. I want to make sure you are paid for your aid in keeping my rift open, and to ensure you see that I am willing to help your cause. Paid how? I have found new code which allows you to change the, the element fuck? of one of your powers. Do you have a place I can test this? Indeed I do. Oh boy. This is the work they pull. Yeah! This has become kind of a job, and I'm not complaining, it's like a really cool job. Just doing YouTube videos on video games, playing, doing what I like. But, to be honest, like, doing these videos is... <clears throat> it's mostly trying to get a, what a lot of people like. I don't think people want to hear me, they just want to see the video games. So usually I don't really get to play a lot of games that I would enjoy on my own time. It's like, I'm gonna record this, and then if I upload that, people will just say, I don't care. I don't want to see you play this, I want to see you play that. And that's, like, what do I play? 
on my own time there. I don't upload. I play a lot of Hollow Knight. Incredible game. It pisses me off sometimes because I suck sometimes. <laughs> I've been playing Bully, I've been playing Max Payne, I've been playing a lot of classic games. Uh, I'm probably gonna be late. And I really want to play Injustice too. I'm not good at fighting games, but this just appeals to me. In order to, to use this element, you will need to manually alter your power. Manually? Yes. I have created this tutorial message to explain how to do so. Well, that's handy. Now use your fire blast on those people. It will ignite anyone in the blast radius. I remember this one. This would be great at a barbecue. I don't know if I have them. Do I have abilities where I can just suck up? No, no! Oh, the vacuum, yeah, no. I need a... Uh... Just two more away. <laughs> I just love their sounds of pain. <laughs> More element types exist in this simulation for various powers, if you are able to find or create the code that is. Thanks for the help. It is not help, only repaying my debt. Now I will let you continue on your quest to find me the body you promised. Whoa. I need a help the AI enter the simulation. Okay, before I do that, I need a thumbnail post. Again, like I said, this game doesn't have many cutscenes, so I gotta pretty much make my own. Um, oh, there's a tower. Or let's see if I can find a tower that's close by the destination. I mean, even. Pretty much just make it to the top. But then I'd have the whole fun is just having to like collect the clusters. I'll collect them later. Love being up this high. Yeah, you have to collect all the clusters that are like along the way. But like I said, I'll I'm not collecting every one of them. If I'm like desperate that I need to collect them, then I will come back. But for now, no. So the AI wants a body, and he won't help me break into other simulations till he gets one. Any suggestions? The Zen have almost everything in the simulation locked tight, but there is something you can use. A control and interface device. Sounds good. Are they hard to get? You're in luck. The Zen have a bunch in transit right now. <clears throat> oh shit. <gasps> Bye, vehicle. Enjoy it. Where is it going to crash? Oh. The Zen are 
using CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Go back to that first hotspot you took down. You can get a CID there. Just shoot them and loot them, huh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zim while trying to hack that device. Yeah! I wonder, is there some way to get this AI a body in the real world, too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? Well, the alternative is staying trapped in the simulation, so... Okay. Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell, just in case. It's this one place that was in Saints Row 3. That's so cool. And they made the fact that they, you can actually go inside is actually awesome as well. I really liked Saints Row 3, the remastered version. I just didn't like two of the DLC. One was really weird and disturbing, but the other one was just challenges. The other one I really liked. Um, I think it was Gangsters in Space. That was a funny one. Along with the CIDs, Zen are transporting a prototype for a contained force recursive feedback projector. Kenzie, sometimes I swear you make this stuff up as you go. <sighs> Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Oh. Fight a lady. Huh. No. I have to get the gun. Be careful not to damage all the CIDs. I don't know when or if we'll get another chance to get one of these. Eh, hey, relax. I got this. It seems like a useless gun, but unless I upgrade it, maybe it will be better, but I'm not. Which CID should I take? It doesn't matter, just pick one. <clears throat> Don't pin this on me! These things aren't right. Don't you explode on me. Yeah! Finally! Quick, get to a safe spot so you can crack it open. Alright, follow me! How far do I need to go? Just away from the Zin. Pick some place they won't find you. How quick can we get this thing rewired? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. Okay, how about this spot? Keep an eye out while I work on this. I guarantee the Zen have a way of finding these devices remotely. <clears throat> Looks like they found us. Don't let them take the CID! Work fast! If anything, I try to use the pistols. I try to use just one gun. Cause it's awesome. Still think I'm just a pretty face? Oh, hey! I found the tracking device. Just get it done! Would you like to take over? I could shoot aliens for a while. That wouldn't go so well for you. I had him right here. Kinsey, tell me you're close. Almost done. Oh shit, I should have saved it for that. Hurry up, hurry up. Who's on? Just disappear. 
here. Little bit more. Okay, the CID is cracked and clear for uploading. Inputting the AI code now. Terrific. How long till the upload is over? 55 minutes. 55 minutes? Don't these things usually take three to five tops? Look, the connection in this area is slow. Get closer to a major connection point like a power plant and this might go faster. Why didn't you lead with that? Because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded. Just tell me, will Sid download faster? Well, probably, but... Then I'm taking this thing over there. Nice. Boom! Said Once this Sid's online, how long till we can use him to get my crew back? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Shondi? We, uh, we're gonna need Matt. Miller? Oh my god, why? Matt's really changed, you know? Joined MI6, helped us with Cyrus Temple. He can be a useful guy. Useful? You got so much on your plate, Kinsey. With all this cyber shit to do, I figure you can use the help. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. My choice is made. I'm here. Just let me clear these Zin out first. At least give me a challenge! Flip on the switch, and all set. Excellent. How much longer? <clears throat> Kinsey, you okay? That's just part of the process. There's a potty mouth part of the process? Full download should only take about 16 minutes. Can you do anything to make it go faster? I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. Bye. Was it too much for you? that kind of oh personality transfer at 31 percent I found an access point that can help speed this along get to it and activate it Bye. Reached it. Turned it on. There's a second access point out further. Woo! Okay, I'm at the second one. Oh wait, is this a hot spot? Good fight. Oh, Jesus.
Now both the access points are online. Is the download any better? <clears throat> much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast! Sid is overloading. Overloading? Overheating! Get to him and cool him down! Okay, okay, we're good. We're fine. I managed to throttle the connection a bit, so it should be much more stable now. How much longer on the download? Three minutes. Good. That'll give me just enough time to fight off more Zen. What's up with these murder bots? Murder bots? Oh, wow. Yeah, emphasis on murder. Holy shit. And I missed. Okay. Get Sid a murder bot instead. Do you really want to give some rogue AI an exoskeleton equipped with complement of weapons and a history of violence? Mm, probably not. And besides, I already found a real CID body for him on the ship. So, you know, synchronicity. Oh shit. Oh damn it. Oh god. Shit. Oh my god, why does this hurt so much? Okay. Holy shit, no, no, run, 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 run! This game is actually Personal a lot harder. Transfer at seven, four percent. At least give me a challenge. Jesus, leave me alone. Can I abduct you guys? Yes, I can. Thank God. Data bottleneck encountered. Full of stars. This is my town. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. Download complete. All right, time to kill us some aliens. Oh God, I'm gonna regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Oh Sid, you say the nicest things. No. Oh. Ah shit, just when things were going so well. <laughs> oh you fucker. Uh, Kinsey? Take him down and I should be able to transfer some of his powers to you. Oh my God, move. Oh my God. Freaking Babalush. Oh my son of a Can't I get inside of him? Oh god, there we go. Oh, 
wasn't too hard. Whoa, whoa. Something's definitely happening in my brain. Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. Guessing I want what's inside this thing? Yeah. It has more clusters in it. Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. Hell yeah! Okay, now use that power to throw things at the ward and take down the shields. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. Program. Okay. Let me just meet Kinsey on the ship. I could really use your help. Stop by and I'll give you the details. I actually want to check. I like the dialogue when you rob from people. <laughs> that ball to decrease my notoriety or my presence I see it there we go now I can rob someone oh she doesn't say anything damn Thing's getting to work faster. Good Lord will have his vengeance. I just like what they say when they rob people, especially Nolan North. He's has some funny dialogue. Oh my god. Can't forget the pickles. My music at least. Ah. Alright, out. I don't want to start a diversion, otherwise you're gonna be out. Shouldn't have done that. Damn, chipped a nail. I need a stable environment to work from inside the simulation. There's several things you can do around Brixton so I can set it up. 
Also, I should be able to create an upgrade to your blast with this. Sure, why not? Well, I could sit here and talk with you, or keep anything on this ship from exploding and killing us all. Your choice. Hey, Kinsey, you wanna fuck? <laughs> you have to wait till I want it. Okay, I know you can romance Sid. I am surprised your planet did not have a stronger defense system against intergalactic attacks. Perhaps that is why you were so easily conquered. Why does everybody look at me as if I will kill them in their sleep? Alright Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Um, maybe... Don't worry, I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. Oh, the other ones are a little... Eh. The only person you can't romance is Keith David, which is still funny. jobs is showing some strange anomalies. Hack it and I'll see what I can find out. Almost beats dancing. Locked it up. Okay, this is it. One more program to insert into the system and the area will work nicely. Just keep things safe while I upload it. After this gets jacked, we so if I can upload my guns, these will be good. But what's explosive in this is like electric ammo, I believe. Armor pierce, both extra to armored and mechanical targets. Ooh. I know you can like change the look. No, no. The Decker ones are awesome. Those are from Blade Runner, if, if you guys didn't get the reference. I wonder what it's for this one, though. Red Shirt Special. I think there's are condiments. Renegade Pistol, that's like the Han Solo ones, and then you got just the regular ones. I think I'll just stick to this since I pretty good long ways of upgrading it. This one's good, this one's good. Kills the add ammo back to the clip, that seems okay. Wait. Oh shit. I think I'm just gonna stick to the uh wait wait. The tentacle bat, the stun gun, no. Hell yeah. Okay, I won't do that other or maybe I will. No, no, I, I don't think so. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on this. If we have to get him a mud body, then do it. Go to train for him. And this is Geki. I can't believe <laughs> what the hell was that? Welcome to Mind Over Murder! 
The rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck. It's murder time, fun time. Welcome to Professor Genki's My Over Murder! <laughs> Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shinya! That's right, folks. The maven of mascot mayhem has teamed up with the conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant. The winner of Genki Ball 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby. Too soon. Let's get to the action. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human Excellent job by our contestant. That's pretty much it. Those are like really, really easy. <laughs> just enjoy your dancing. That's pretty much the only time we're gonna see Gwen Stacy just like doing that whole shuffle step. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Nice. Good way to finish. Okay. I just want to keep doing. Wait, what is this? Lifesteal? Oh, okay. Then this is the break map that we're out. Walk me through how Sid is going to help us free Matt. Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. We need all the help we can get. How do we get him? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. This should be a fucking adventure. I think we get a cutscene in this one. Just for a bit. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, the self-proclaimed hacker god, ran all the cyber-terrorism for the Syndicate back in Steelport. Now, he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. <coughs> I know there's like a special... Oh, it's this thing again. You can give me a gun any time, Kinsey. Well, you don't have superpowers either. Jesus Christ, Kinsey. Why the fuck are there words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. This brings back memories. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I just have to deal with it. Fucking 80s. I'm just throwing this out there, but uh, I don't want to be staring at the ground for the rest of my life. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Thank you. 
be as simple as 3D? Don't you dare hit enter, Kinsey! Oops, sorry. Finger slipped. My god. There should be three data towers controlling the security of the map's prison. Finally, I get to just blow shit up. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> three times, Zinyak. Try to keep up. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. We'll see about that. <laughs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. I always win my arguments. That's a lot of firepower. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. This Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Oh, uh, touche. That's two. One more to go. You know, you're still kind of on my virtual shit list, Kinsey. For what? Last time we were in cyberspace, you turned me into a sex doll. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. You gave me access to the webcam you set up in Viola's room. It's not an apology, that's creepy. And that has to be embarrassing. Tower, then we grab Matt. Oh, I don't think it should be oh, that easy for you. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Survive the trap. Shit. This is actually really cool. It's confusing, but it's cool. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death out brief candle life's but a walking shadow a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more it is a tale told by an idiot Full of sound and fury, signifying. Thanks for sharing your high school poetry. It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Don't I have an upgrade to vehicles? Nitrous, yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea though. It might crash. Hold it. Yeah, 
strikes. Prison. How am I gonna start a prison break without a gun? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Wing it? Great. What can go wrong? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Fuck me running. a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you would willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What am I looking at? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one. True. The human race would be much safer without you in it. I don't think it matters which you choose, but I'm gonna go with this. Gwen is a hero. Wait, what? Oh, is it? Thank you to our players, you are the best. The order of these is in no way indicated of contribution to the game. You chose poorly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it does matter then, I guess. Whoops. So, will you choose a path to extinction? Or will you sacrifice yourself as a savior? Yeah, I didn't choose Ours that Ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to do or die. Make your choice. Okay, so it does actually matter. I, I thought it didn't. What am I looking at? This is your life okay, as it led you to shit. this Shut up. Memories? It was total bullshit that you could only carry 200 pounds of bison meat. Wait, is that Matt? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Matt, stay calm. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. It's a computer. What did you do? On the screen, one question is asked, what are you? The computer does not fuck off. Text appears on screen. I'm sorry, contradictions. Contractions cannot read by, by be read by this program. Wrong answer, what are you? I'm a slave. The room melts Behold away. Behold my empire. Wow, empty space and a purple star. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. The room melts with giving you bread. Uh, the cosmos, what do you do? The moon is a pretty boring place. Keep walking in the moon. <laughs> Investigate the planet. The planet appears to be a desert world with a radius of 3,100 kilometers. You found something. Oh, a probe? As you fly. Oh, man. I, I, I really wanted to launch that probe. God damn it! 
Blake, soon you are alone, staring into the corona. Ah, yes. I'm quite proud of this one. Why? What is it? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does a pirate have a raven? <sighs> Fills a room, thump, thump, thump. It's a raven. <laughs> The pendulum chops off your hand. Fortunately, this icky girl back. You probably shouldn't do that again. Touch the pendulum. <laughs> Drink the wine. As he goes it down the bottle of ancient murder wine, you become lighter. God damn it! I kind of want to try to exhaust all the options, but I'm afraid of damn. So it's the last one. Is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Yes. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. I can deal with anything you throw at me, buddy. Make it edible. To your surprise, this, it doesn't hold your weight as you well as you had hoped. You must swim back to land. Building the radio is easier than you expected. Syndicated reruns have given you the tools of it. Sadly, you have no place to plug it in. Uh, make a house out of palms. You don't have any nails. So yeah, it's always the last, the last choice, man. You clearly fashioned a pair of cocktail glasses and filled them with coconut milk. Drink the milk. It's good. Not melon ball good, but good. Are for the architect to drink. Jesus Christ, Zinyak, are you 13? <laughs> a beautiful daughter of Atrix emerges from... Oh God, I hope this doesn't affect my monetization. Uh, let me go. No. Please? No. Pretty please? No. Bitch. Dominatrix bursts into tears. Why are you so mean? I'm sorry. I never get any better. You're the first person that shows up and you treat me like dirt. I said I'm sorry. I wonder why. Fine. Blame the victim. Bitch. <laughs> Set. I'm sorry you're right. She takes a white prize with her lined fern leather cuffs. So why are you here? I can't let you do that, but is there anything else I can do for you? I really want to destroy Zinyak. I want to rescue Matt Miller. Sad. All right, pick up the phone and dial yourself out, Matt. Then you will have to fight Matt Miller's most feared opponent. Oh, I know who that is. Fuck that! I want to destroy his yak. Yeah. Dominatrix fades away and before you stands Kilbane. The Saints think they can defeat me again. No, this time Matty has to do his own fighting. Bring back the woman with the whip. See, you don't care about Miller. You'll care about yourself. I wonder what she was doing later. Suddenly, Matt Miller's appears in the ring. Can I get another wrestler? <laughs> Let's do this. Last, you really think a wimp like Maddie here can defeat me? Matt Miller cowers a bit. I don't think I can do this. All right, then. Lull into a false sense of security. Kill me last. You really think a world should? Punch kill. Winds up and takes a swing, hitting Kilbane in the jaw. Kilbane yells, Ow, what the hell is that? This is impossible. I don't think so. Whoops. Cry, punch Kilbane. Back away. Oh, man. Punch him again. Punch him again. The mighty swing, Matt Miller's third hit in a row since Kilby crashed into the ground unconscious. Matt shouts, I did it, I won. Told you, kid. I knew you'd get me through this. Now I can get out of this antique of a game? What do you say? Time to go, Matt. Matt McCall, why would you be in a man to die? Not a chamber of revolver, says it's the center. What do you do? That was a bit long. I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's... a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship.
we need to rescue him. What the hell? Yeah, I hate him. We need him. It's time to save Matt Miller, but we're not going to do that today. Oh my god, it's almost two. Yeah, I have an appointment today at nine. Okay, all right. I'm gonna save. I wish I could play longer. I really do, but it's just I just have so much on my plate right now. I have to do this something s stupid application. Let's do it by Friday, and then I have to work on my homework, which I really want to do. It sounds like a lot of fun, but I gotta do all this stuff for Friday, which sucks. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. I don't know if I'm gonna be uploading for the next few days. Maybe I'm gonna try. It won't be that long. Of, they won't be long videos, but I, I really want to try to put something out for you guys. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Leave a like, comment if you're new to the channel, and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the videos that I post. And I will see you guys around. Bye bye.